Sean Plew from Hitters.com. So you want to take a look at Manny Ramirez, some of the swing movements that allowed him to be one of the very best of all time. I got the pleasure of working with Manny this offseason as he prepared to play in Japan. Manny doesn't have as much forward momentum as a lot of guys. Um, he's able to produce power and the same feels without it, right? So he his hips move forward probably, you know, three to four inches instead of a foot for some guys. Um, lands somewhat uh, narrow compared to most hitters. Um, this is something that you, you won't see on all his swings, but Manny was one of the very best at the triangle turn. Um, you can find more about that at my website, hitterist.com. But what I see basically is this shape in the arms here in the bat. Uh, back elbows up, front elbows down. The bat's held vertical. And at this position, he keeps that shape in the arms. Look at these frames right here. So you can see how much movement he's getting with the barrel while his hands have still stayed at the back shoulder. Right? A lot of guys would push the hands away from the shoulder at this point. He's really kept the hands at the shoulder, maybe four or five inches away from the shoulder, and twisted this barrel around the hands, right? So this shape in the elbows, the elbows and bat have moved together and, and tilted and turned the barrel around the hands. And that action just continues on and through the baseball. He's one of the very best at this that there's ever been, and he really keeps this shape tight. And that, to me, is the genius in his swing, is that... He's able to really keep this shape. And you see, we lose the barrel back here behind him because there's so much bat speed created here. And this bat speed is being created kind of towards the dugout behind him or the on-deck circle behind him and then is carried into the baseball. So I talk about creating bat speed in the batter's box you're standing in. So all of this bat speed is happening and then he's able to carry it forward through the baseball right out towards the pitcher so everything happening before this point is happening basically towards I'd say the second baseman right so look how far the shoulders have tilted instead of opening up the shoulders the shoulders have tilted up and down right so these movements right here this is the start of the swing these movements back elbow down front elbow up, back shoulder down, back shoulder, front shoulder up. And this tilting action allowed him to create bat speed early in the swing or deep in the swing and then get on playing and hit the baseball. Let's take a look at some more clips here. So again, you can see this triangle shape really spinning and he's able to really get behind the baseball better than probably anyone ever. Um, and the reason he was able to do that is because of this tilt that we're talking about. Um, he's not swinging down on the ball. One of the quotes he said, he's, he said, I don't swing down, I swing up. Um, another really good thing he said was, you'll learn in the first at bat how the pitchers are trying to pitch you. I thought that was really I thought that was really valuable information. So this is probably one of the best swings of all time and really because he's able to get behind the baseball and really square it better than most people. Um, you see he finishes high through here and the barrel's level with the shoulders, but he's able to really tilt the shoulders, drop the shoulder behind the baseball and really get through it the way he wants to and really create that consistent launch angle. So here's early in his career, he hit one of the farthest balls ever hit. You see this ball goes into the upper deck. Let's take a look at this swing here. So in this swing, he hasn't loaded the barrel as far, but you can still see that triangle shape. And you can see the tension he's created, that, that elbow is pulled all the way back. That's something we worked on. Um, he was very knowledgeable about his own swing mechanics, but this is something I brought to his attention. Um, Whereas sometimes you would see the back elbow not get back to this position and not create that tension that we, that we want to see. And you can see on one of the farthest balls he's ever hit, 
that elbow's pulled back, probably even with the shoulder line. So gets a little bit more depth, really allows the lower body to kind of swing the bat, right? And you'll see the back foot kind of kick back. This is something that you'll see from guys that swing more vertical. This is a more vertical swing plane that he typically swings with. Um, you see the bat and the shoulders are kind of at a 45 degree angle. And he's really good with the lower body at tilting the pelvis with that. See how his pelvis doesn't rotate horizontally. He tilts and gets behind the baseball and through the baseball. Um, one of the reasons he was able to hit uh, to the opposite field so well and to all fields is that he's not spinning off the baseball at all. He's really getting behind it and staying through it. And a lot of coaches will talk about that, but really not tell you how to, how to do that. But basically the swings happening back in here, right? Before the bat leaves, before the hands leave the batter's box, this, this bat speed is being created. And then from here, it's more of a tilting action and out towards the pitcher. You see his arms extend out here instead of continuing to try to push around this, kind of push the swing towards left field, his swing all happens and it, all the power is being directed out towards center field. Now he catches this ball with the barrel out front, so he'll pull it down the line, but he, he didn't pull off of it. So he's able to pull the ball without pulling off, which is, which is big. Here's a really nice view of him twisting that triangle like we talked about earlier. So he's loaded this elbow way up, way back, and he's later in his career, he started to tip the bat more. So the bat's probably uh, vertical if you're looking from the pitcher view. And he's twisted the bat. He's, there's momentum happening back in here as the, el the elbows and the bat move together and everything tilts behind the baseball, behind the baseball, behind the baseball. Something that's really interesting to take a look at is guys swing when, they, when they're taking their dry swings and they're getting ready and they're on deck. Um, again, you can see, this is probably the best example I have of, of guys. I guess Joey Votto had, had a really nice clip too, but uh, he's created this triangle shape in the arms, right? And he's really loaded it up here. This is kind of his swing process. And then he, he swivels this bat and he turns this triangle under his head. Right? See how high the hands stay. The higher and the closer the hands stay to the body, the more control you have of that barrel. Right? And this is a much different thought process and contact position than most guys think of. But this is what allowed him to really stay behind the baseball and hit uh, with consistent launch angle better than just about anyone ever, right? So definitely very important to take a look at these movements and this uh, angle at contact, right? He's, he's really swung at a 45 degree angle, kept his hands high. And this is one of the steeper swing planes that you'll see to kind of lift the ball um, and get behind the baseball and really square it um, at a home run trajectory. One of the very best to ever do it. I was really fortunate to work with him. Here's a clip from when we were together. This is the torque drill. Um, you can see from my website, hitting drills to move better. This is a variation of this drill. But again, we could see the triangle and the momentum being created back in here as the lower body leads the movement. You can see his back hip starting to extend and everything goes out in a direction, right? So he's able to twist this triangle, create tension with the upper and lower body, and let it out towards the pitcher rather than continue to pull the ball or hook it to the left, right? Really stay inside, behind, and underneath to create the nice trajectory that we want. This has been Sean Plew from Hitterish.com. Catch you next time. One that's repping, oh my god, oh my god. If I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I.